I believe in one God, the Father Roman, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, life of life, very God of very God, be not, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we give you thanks that your Son Jesus sacrificed himself for us, for our sins, for all of our sins. Almighty Father, we thank you that he is risen that he won the victory, that indeed he is King of kings and Lord of lords. And we thank you that through your Son Jesus, you give us life eternal, life everlasting with you. Almighty Father, there are those among us, among our families, among our friends, who have various kinds of illnesses, the list is long. We would ask that you give health, recovery, that you give healing and strength and renewal to each of these people. Especially this morning we lift up to you Diane Matson, Gerald Cortinas, Joan Walker, Lois Taylor, Ramon Montanias, Rachel Matson, Matthew Byler. Roger Byron, Sonny Garcia, Mitch Slater, Anna Tarada, Sasha Jorgensen, Maxine Richards, Maria Caballos, Cynthia Liao, Judy Kowalski, and Pastor Bray Walls. We would ask also that you give those who care for these people, their families, their, the ones who love them, their doctors, give them patience, endurance, and the right knowledge to do what is good and right, to bring healing. Almighty Father, we lift up to you those who are traveling this day. We would ask that you would bless their travels, give them great joy, Give them a good time where they are going and bring them speedily home to Lord. We lift up to you this congregation. We would ask that you would bring healing here and strength and endurance. That you would drive away the evil foe and the Holy Spirit move here in a mighty way. Bless us in our Easter celebrations today, Lord. All these things we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus, who rules with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb which was offered for us and has taken away the sins of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has restored to us everlasting life. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, children of men and given your only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life we give you thanks for the redemption you have prepared for us through Jesus Christ send your Holy Spirit into our hearts that he may establish in us a living faith and prepare us joyfully to remember our Redeemer and receive him who comes to us in his body and in his blood Amen Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom. Teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat. This is my body, which is given for you. It's due in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord. Let us pray. O 
God the Father, the fountain and source of all goodness, who in loving kindness sent your only begotten Son into the flesh. We thank you that for his sake you have given us pardon and peace in this sacrament. And we ask you not to forsake your children, but always to rule our hearts and minds by your Holy Spirit, that we may be enabled to serve you constantly through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. We sing another benediction, another blessing, a blessing to be put upon each other, and a model at least for a blessing to put on everyone you encounter during the week. It's found at the bottom of the first page of your bulletin. Please. Turn instead to hymn number one. Third.